celebrity stars in their eyes. Please welcome your host, Cat Dealey. Welcome to Celebrity Stars in Their Eyes. Tonight, five more celebs are waiting to swap their day jobs for a night on the tiles as five pop legends. As always, they'll be singing 100% live with no safety nets and only some retro clobber to hide behind. Scary? No, I'll tell you, it's terrifying. So how are the nerves kicking in for Celebrity Star number one? Hi, I'm Jerry Springer and I'm back in the UK for a few days, up here in Manchester, and I was told the best way to get a good view of Manchester is to go up there. I love coming back to England. It's been the place of my birth. I mean, I left when I was five. This is the first time I've been to Manchester. It still has a British feel to it. It's a real working class community. People trying to support their families. I, I kind of like that. People probably know me most because of the show, and it's given me an incredible opportunity over these last 14 years to meet a wide, wide range of people of all different backgrounds and interests and behavior. It's opened my eyes. Go Jerry! Go Jerry! Go Jerry! When I was asked to be on Stars in Their Eyes, I, uh, my first thought was, why? <laughs> Who am I going to be? Bye, Milo. No offense. <laughs> yeah, because no, yeah. This is really going to be a test of people's tolerance. We'll find out what a uh, kind, gentle, and forgiving people the British are <laughs> with my performance. For once, he's confessing all. It is Jerry Springer. <laughs> It's great to be here. Because we have kind of twisted your arm to be here, actually. We heard on the grapevine that you do an impression of this person in front of your friends and sometimes your family, but we've thrown down the gauntlet and you have risen to the challenge, so to speak. You know, I obviously, considering my show, have no shame, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, this will be the greatest humiliation I've ever had. So. <laughs> You mentioned your show there, and normally you're the person that's in the audience, and normally the audience are on the stage. Yes. So what we thought we'd do is we'd flip reverse that, and, and, and we thought that, that our audience would ask you a few questions. So we need to whip ourselves the up a bit like questions. a Jerry audience, so I'm thinking, Dealey, Dealey, Dealey. Yeah. Okay, I'm up. I'm coming up to my first audience member. They're up here. Oh, security. What's your first question? What's the weirdest job you've ever done? I was a news anchor and I used to make up the news because it's a lot easier. You didn't. You used otherwise to make you, it up. Yeah, because otherwise you've got to go out in the street, the weather's bad. Uh, no, no. But I, I'd say the job I have now is the weirdest I've ever had. Right. Okay, next question. What's been the strangest topic on any of your talk shows? I married my horse. <laughs> no, that was not. <laughs> I'll tell you, the horse got so upset, she left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Jerry Springer. Yeah! Yes, yes. After all that silliness, please, yes. will you give me your clues, sir? He was born in uh, America in 1935. Mm -hmm. He had 18 number one hits here in the UK. And there, I guess another clue would be he had a nickname. And it wasn't the Prince. It was higher. So, come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Elvis Presley. Fantastic. <laughs> Just 
you've ever done that in public, isn't it? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how he sung with a tight pants. <laughs> what about in America? Do you have a show like this in America? No, no, uh, no. And we how... have a show like mine in America. That's what's wrong. <laughs> how would this you, is better. How would you this describe this show to, to, to Americans? Because um, it's uh, quite surreal. Yes. Well, the, this, is, this is really the dream. Everyone wants to be someone else. They want to be someone, you know, yeah. when they were younger. Um, but this is, this is Elvis at 60. <laughs> That's the thing, he never got this Elvis. Can you just, before you go as well, give me a thank you much. Oh, love you very much. <laughs> Ladies and thank gentlemen, you. Jerry Springer as Elvis Springer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank We have a very famous farmhand, a bad girl on day release, and a cop going deep undercover. Don't go changing, that's their job. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Now, our second celebrity doorman started his career as a modern Robinson Crusoe before getting a huge dose of reality. He's one of the few people who can say he's mucked out with vanilla ice and shared a cow pat with the lovely Debbie McGee. So all this should be easy for celebrity star number two. I'm Jeff Brazier and I'm here to meet my friend Georgie because we're both dads and we're daddies who dying. I love the job that I do, but the limelight really doesn't bother me. I know what's ruining life, my kids and, and my friends. My first job on TV was a show called Shipwreck where I lived on an island for three months. Since then, just been doing a, a lot of show recently, The Farm, which I, I managed to win somehow. I'm really enjoyed as well. Being on telly is one thing, but actually singing on TV is a completely different kettle of fish. It's nothing, I've never ever done it before. I've never rated myself as a singer, so this is going to be a real test. I hope you don't freeze and you just have yourself up there. Massively you think I'll be confident enough? You've got confidence in abundance. I don't, I don't doubt that. Confidence ain't a problem. It's just pure 
lack of ability. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I've done Stars in Their Eyes, I'm going to keep a copy, because when these boys are 18, like, they're having girlfriends around, I'm going to pull it out for fun and embarrass you. I'm going to embarrass you very, very much. Give me a kiss. Yeah. E-I-E-I-O, it's Jeff Brazier! Very well, thank you. Nice to go. Good. A little bird has told me that you were a professional footballer. Is that true? Oh, it's true, yeah, but I'm not sure whether I've got any skills left. I think they've okay. gone a bit. Well, I'm absolutely awful. I'm not going to make no bones about it. I'm absolutely rubbish. But do you think you could give me a few tips? I think I can, I can possibly coach you a little bit, but you look like you've got two left feet. So we'll see how we get on. Right, wait there. <laughs> To go. Okay, what team do you play for? You got your boots on the wrong feet for starters. No, they're all right. They're and all right. And you must be playing for Dealey United because there's no team that wears you. No, red. no. Look, it's to match me frock. Right, <laughs> warming up first. Right, a little stretch on the inside. Yeah. Up at the back. Up at the back. Right, I think you're ready. Okay. You got any balls? Right, balls. Right, what I'm going to teach you. Sling that out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to okay. flick it up. Yeah. In the air. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The next skill. Yeah, go on. Games are won and lost on, yeah. on basically goals. So yeah. I want you to score a goal. Goals there, don't worry about the audience. Girls, old there, boys down there. <laughs> I'm going to spot the ball. Yeah. And you've got to have a little bit of a run up and stick it in the top corner, score a goal, and show a little bit of celebration. You okay. Ready? Right, everyone. Oh, I'm Ooh. so sorry. Okay, right, enough silliness. Anyway. Actually, no, I quite like that. Tell me your clues. Right, my man was born on the 15th of February, 1959. Mm -hmm. The band that he's in, uh, their name comes from an unemployment benefit form. My last clue yep. is they've uh, come out with classic hits such as Red Red Wine, Many Rivers to Cross, and the one that I'm going to sing for you tonight. So, come on, tell us. Who right. are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Cat, I'm going to be Ali Campbell of UB40. <laughs> Queen. 
That's over. <laughs> Are you? You never ever sang in public before, had you? Um, I've never sung at all. Not karaoke or anything. So that was a big deal. Gosh, you were brave. Well, well done you. Oh, thanks very much, you, Kat. You talked about the deep end and you did it. Gone in it, yeah. Yep, gone in it. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Brazier yeah. as Ali Campbell. <laughs> Celebrity star number three. Hi, I'm Nell McAndrew. My friends are just through here, so come and join us. You know what, fellas, good for Well, one thing that we'd always do is we'd always have like a takeout, either it's eat like with fish and chips or um, you know something like that with a, a bottle of champagne. So we like to do, you know, the glamorous with the kind of normal down to earth thing. Well, over the past about 13 years now, knocking on a bit, um, I've been modelling, so I've done lots of photo shoots for magazines and things like that. So you cook this and then put it into these little oh, trays, did you? <laughs> I did. Such a modern way I've been slaving food. away all day. <laughs> Well, when I was younger, everyone used to say I look like Marilyn Monroe because I used to bleach my hair really white, hence doing a few jobs to recreate some of the original pictures that she did. Um, this one in particular appeared on um, a bus shelter in Dublin. The majority of the time, something that I actually do out of work as well as in work is fitness. So I bring out my own fitness videos each year and I really, really love exercise. I'm a fitness fanatic. I'm almost 31 years of age and it's nice to just do things just for the hell of it and just have a laugh. Well, here's another glamorous challenge for Nell McAndrew. <laughs> You have had quite a full-on year, young lady. I certainly have. What have you been up to? Well, I just keep taking on all these challenges, thinking, oh, that'll be all right, I can do that. So I started off with a marathon, did a bit of tightrope walking, and um, did a parachute jump. A parachute jump? <laughs> yeah, now this. Now, how's rehearsals been going? Um, OK, but I've just had a bit of a problem where I've always tried to do it where nobody can look at me. So I've got a bit of a problem with everybody looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I've not got over that hurdle yet. Mm. And, um, well, I mean, and obviously, for me tonight, I've got my family here to watch me, yeah. which is the first time they've ever been to something together to support me on something. Yeah. So... I know, and look yeah. where they are. And they're <laughs> right at the very, very back cos you didn't want them in your eye line. I said, please don't put them so I can see them because it'll so make me more nervous. They're in the cheap seats. <laughs> but, but, but it'll be great. So, come yeah. on, give us a few clues. Well, her dad was a 50s rock and roll star. She's very well known for having green fingers. And some of the hits have included Checkered Love and You Keep Me Hanging On. OK, so, come on, tell us who... And at the back, who are you going to be tonight? <laughs> tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Kim Wilde. Kim Wilde. <laughs>
do that no no I didn't think I was gonna be able to breathe I mean my heart was running away yeah. fast and I was trying to keep up with it to try and catch my breath but just about managed I think we know you've been nervous but what's been the bit that you've most enjoyed um, the glass of champagne that's waiting in my little fridge when I get there <laughs> I was gonna have it before I came out and I decided that I didn't have it in case I burped well <laughs> <laughs> So I thought, no, I'm gonna save it there and that's my little treat for afters. Oh, the glass will be frosting nicely yes. now. You, you enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, Nell McAndrew as Kim Wilde. Enjoy. <laughs> And Jerry have surprised you, then <laughs> they surprised me. <laughs> then hold on to your safest because there are still two more stars locked in their dressing rooms awaiting that dreaded knock from the makeover team. Stay right there, I'll see you in a moment. Jerry Springer, and while he can look after himself in a ruck, he wouldn't last five minutes in Larkhall Prison, but our next famous face managed four years. And now she's free to become celebrity star number four. Hiya, my name's Victoria Bush, and I play the part of Tina in the series Bad Girls. This is my friend Vicky Olcott, who plays Julie Saunders, and we're out shopping for the day. Hi, let's go this way, Vic. I've been in Bad Girls for about four years now, which seems like five minutes ago. Tina is the sweetest, nicest girl. Uh, she's a bit of a pushover, and I know that I am sometimes. I'm not, not very good at saying no, and neither is she, but I think apart from that, we're quite different, hopefully. Well, Vic is, um, she's very aggressive. She's, <laughs> no. She's one of the best people I've ever worked with. 
When I found out I was going to be on the show, I was really, really excited because it's something I've always wanted to do. Everybody's at least thought about who would I be, you know, if I was coming through the doors and saying, oh, tonight I'm going to be. So, no, I'm just really, really, really excited. See why I need help shopping. <laughs> Murder a drink. Yeah, my feet are killing me. Come on, let's go in. Coming through the doors is just going to be amazing. It's going to be such an achievement for me. It's going to be brilliant. I'm really looking forward to it. We love you, Vic. Myself and all the girls are rooting for you. Knock their socks off. With time off for good behaviour, it's Victoria Bush. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, it will, definitely. Now, bad girls, what was it like to walk on that set? It was absolutely amazing. I can't even begin to, to try to put into words how it felt actually getting the job, but going first time and, and getting there, the set was so small, just the, it's so complex and, and compact. The ceilings are so low at, at some points that I can touch them, which means it must be really low. With or without heels. heels? Without heels. Without heels. So it's really low, but yeah, it's a fantastic set and you can go all the way up onto the threes and look down, all the, all the gridding up there, it's, it's amazing. Brilliant, it's really dramatic. Now, a little bird has told me that you are very, very good at accents. I'm not too bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> give us a little bit and I'll try and do the same try to you. All I'll right. Have a go. Okay. Come on then. Firstly, we'll try a bit of Liverpudlian. Yeah. Just remember when you get to the back of the stage. Just remember when you get to the back of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> it was Liverpool via Philadelphia. Anyway, carry on. And we'll try a bit of Glaswegian. Oh. Okay. Just keep your head and go for it. <laughs> Just keep your head and just go for it. Well done. I'm going to leave that to you. That's your job. But come on, give us your clues. Well, the lady that I'm going to be this evening was born in 1941, yeah. and she changed her name from Naomi because she didn't think it suited her big personality. Right. She was in three folk groups of the 60s: the Big Three, the Mugwumps, and most famously, the Mamas and Papas. And when she left the band, she went solo and had hits with Dream a Little Dream of Me and Make Your Own Kind of Music. OK, so come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Cat, I'm going to be Mama Cass. Mama Cass! <laughs>
<laughs> now, there's such a big build-up to you coming on this stage. Well, how do you feel after you after you finished? Um, I just feel I just feel really relieved, and I'm really pleased. They're so overdone with. <laughs> no, I'm really I'm really pleased. I had I had a really lovely time. Well done. Thank well you done. very much, ladies and gentlemen. Victoria Bush as Mama Cass. <laughs> We've just seen a bad girl from the wrong side of the tracks. Now let's meet a good girl from the long arm of the law. Live and direct from Sunhill, celebrity star number five. Hiya, my name's Vicky Gates and I play Marilyn Chambers in The Bill. Come see where I work. When I first found out I was going to be on Stars in the Rise, I was so made up because I've wanted to do it for ages, so I'm really looking forward to it. There's a huge difference between doing stars in the rise and the bill because at the bill, when you're on set, if you make a mistake, you can always go again. Whereas stars in the rise, you've just got one shot at it. And if you get it wrong or if you make a mistake, you make a show of yourself and you can't go again. So obviously I don't want that to happen. Rolling it, please. Okay. Rehearsal. Look who's here. Are you nervous? Of course I am. <laughs> You're going to be brilliant. Yeah, no problem, no problem at all. I don't know how you do it, I couldn't. Now, my wardrobe has got the best outfits in the world. Here's all my gorgeous costumes. Very glamorous. And my thermals when we're outside. <laughs> I don't expect to win. It's just taking part. You know, it's stars in their eyes. Well, the celebrity version anyway. So I just want to really, really enjoy it and just take home a very good experience. Right then, let's take down her particulars. It's Vicky Gates. <laughs> now, tell me about when the bill went live, because I imagine that's terrifying. It was, it was absolutely terrifying. I wasn't meant to be in it in the first place. Right. And then um, the producers decided they needed a safety net. So I ended up being put in the front office for the whole hour, doing improvisation with another character just brought in for that episode. And we had our own crew. And um, if anything went wrong with any of the other cameras in any of the other sets, they were to cut to us and we'd have to do our own little improvisation for an hour. Now you've wanted to be on this stage for quite a long time, haven't you? Yeah. When did you first? Like when it first started, right. I can remember we were sat at home, my mum and my dad, and I can remember Shirley Bassey on, and I can remember um, John Lennon. Yeah. And I always wanted to do it, and yeah. I always wanted to be the person who I'm going to be tonight. Well, you're here now. I know. <laughs> and you're actually going to be that person. Yeah. Too. Okay, give us a few more clues as to the person you're going to be. Right. She was born in Los Angeles in 1964. Mm -hmm. She made a name in a band called Lone Justice, right. and then she went solo from um, towards the end of the 80s. Then she had a number one hit, uh, which was in the charts for four weeks, in 1990. Mm -hmm. It was from a feature film with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman called Days of Thunder. OK, so come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? I'm waiting for this. Oh, no! <laughs> Keep me with it, baby. <laughs> tonight, cat. <laughs> I'm going to be Maria McKee. Maria McKee! <laughs> And feel it from Come over here and shut down tight. I'm not denying we're flying.
to do that for so long yep you've wanted to do it for so long it's something that you've always wanted yeah did you enjoy it i loved it i absolutely loved it i want to come here every week <laughs> <laughs> do a different person every yeah week that's or... what i've just given them an idea for a show vicky gates does stars on the rise and do five <laughs> i think you're building your part up but i like where you're going with it and if you had to choose so it's live bill or doing this doing this would you yeah Oh, I'm so glad you yeah. said that. You can come back anytime you I'd like. like to. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Vicky Gates as Maria McKee. <laughs> But before tonight's Famous Five can de-stress and de-robe, there's just the small matter of finding tonight's winner. All will be revealed in just a moment. See you there. <laughs> Celebrity stars, there's no escape for our famous friends. Even when they're not here in the spotlight, they're being stalked by our backstage camera crew to discover what goes on behind these spangly doors. So here's how five stars became five stars. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a great show tonight. We've got Jerry Springer. Well, I'll be honest, I, I, I think blondes have more fun. We've got Neil McAndrew. Oh, that's it, I'm ready. Vicky Gates. I want to do it again. I want this to be my proper job. I loved it. Jeff Brazier. Jill, you've made me look like a 35-year-old. And, of course, that amazing Victoria Bush. Look at my outfit. I'm like a giant fairy king. Oh, it's a tough crowd, eh? Hey, hey, hey. All right, I'm just here to have a good time. Hey. Thank you very much. <laughs> OK, it's what happened on stage that really counts. So before our audience choose their winner, let's round up our unusual suspects one more time. First, Jerry Springer did Las Vegas as the king, Elvis Presley. Oh. signed on tonight as Ali Campbell. She'll be waiting in Kingston Town. With the kids in America. Oh. Nell McAndrew was Marty's little girl, Kim Wilde. Everybody live for the music And it's getting better. The bad girl done good, Victoria Bush was Mama Cass. Show me heaven, heaven, 
and Vicky Gates earned her stripes as Maria McKee. Audience, it's best sound alike, not best look alike. Make one celebrity very happy and please vote now. We have a winner. Is it Elvis Presley? Ali Campbell? Kim Wilde? Mama Cass? Or Maria McKee? And the winner is Maria McKee! Now, you have been full of the cold all day, and you've won. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> and you wanted this since 14. 14. Can oh you believe that you've actually won? I feel ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> ashamed of what? Crying my eyes out like a soft one. <laughs> like a soft one. <laughs> Do you think you could perform for us one more time? Yeah, of course I will. <laughs> OK, OK. Ladies and gentlemen, Vicky Gates as Maria McKee. Well done. <laughs> Great performances, but there can be only one winner, and tonight the crown goes to Vicky Gates. So back on stage singing live one more time, the one and only Vicky Gates as Maria McKee. <laughs> Show. 
put five more celebrities through the smoke and into the spotlight. See you very soon. Good night.